So how can we um, represent proportional relationships? So proportional relationships can be represented in at least four different ways, right? So proportional relationships. can be, I'm going to say shown instead of represented. That's an easier word um, in at least four different ways. And so part of um, what you're going to need to be able to do in eighth grade is look at relationships, proportional and non-proportional, that are represented in um, different ways and be able to compare them. So they can be represented in a table. They can be represented in a graph. They can be re represented in an equation. And they can be represented by words. Right. So these are different ways that um, these relationships can be shown or represented. So if we're looking at um, a table, right, which is what we're going to be working on starting in 3.1, we're going to look at proportional relationships in a table, right? So the table looks something like this. You have your X and your Y, and then you have some numbers in here. Like, let's say um, it's going, um, so 0, 1, 2, 3, um, 7, and so then this is always going to be zero in a proportional relationship. So one times three is three, two times three is six, three times three is nine, seven times three is 21. So this would be representing a proportional relationship, right? Um, the reason we know it's proportional is because, right, we can look at our Y over our X and see that, that it is always going to be three, right? Three over one equals three y over x. Um, so if we, you know, that would be in this one. Let me pick a different color. y over x, right? If we look here, it's 21 over 7, and that also equals 3, right? So we have this constant of proportionality in which these two numbers are, right, that these ratios of x and y are the same. And we could also represent that with a graph. So we could represent it as a graph. And then I'm just doing a quick sketch, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if this is one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven would be all the way over here. So if this was three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21 would be up here, right? Right, what you would see is, so um, this is kind of an important, right? You have this zero, zero, right? I'm gonna put a little kind of like this right here. And then if you were to graph it, you would see that it makes a, a straight line. So I'm going to put the line in pencil, actually. Okay, so we could graph that, and then you know, we could put these other points along the way that we also had in our table, right? And then all those points should be on that line. So a couple things when we see this graph, right? We can see that it is a... Um, Straight line. And it goes through the origin, which is zero, zero. Right, so make sure, right, we know what the origin is. Right, also, you can see it, it's in the table also, right? So noticing that pattern. So we can also represent this with an equation. So our equation, right? Our two variables are, so this is y, this is x, right? Our equation would look something like y.